Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves are on this journey to love. And so um, I do healings and readings and channel letters for people. And I also do a crystal grit, which I was guided to set up for me and my twin to help us come into our reunion. And it's a crystal grid which uses rose quartz and a whole load of other crystals. And when you join the grid, um, you receive a piece of rose quartz crystal, uh, which is infused with holy fire Reiki and the intent to bring all twin flames into their union. And then crystals are going all the way over the world um, and basically literally grounding the energy of love onto the planet. And it's all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And so it uses the sacred wisdom of the trees to really ground the energy of as above, so below, and to root the energy of spirit into matter to make the spiritual connection into the physical. And so... Um, what I want to share today is a message that came through from a healing yesterday that I did for a lady. And I'll tell you what I saw because it was very powerful visuals again to explain what very strongly I've been feeling about the energies recently. And so the first thing is I see um, her a jam jar and I see a hand trying to unscrew the top of the jam jar. But the hand is very slippy and it's her divine counterpart's hand. And so you can imagine that when you're trying to unscrew a jam jar and it's slippy, it gets quite frustrating. And I could feel that sort of frustrated energy. The next thing, I saw a car wheel being jacked up as if it had a puncture. And... Um, I was thinking, well, so basically I said, why are you showing me these things? And then, because I could feel the sense of frustration as well. And um, and that basically what it was is that then um, I saw that the, the, the hand on the jam jar just needed to be wiped by a towel so that it wasn't slippy anymore. And then it could open the jam jar top. Likewise, with the tyre, um, the it just needed to be filled up with air because it didn't actually have a puncture. And so, you know, again, very clever kind of symbology because after I did the heart healing chanting, I saw them, um, I basically saw that the air was filled up rather than having to do a puncture and the jam jar was opened because and so it was to say that actually there is a lot of frustration about basically trying to swim against the tide at the moment so there is a lot of those sorts of frustration about having to well just frustration you know <laughs> just general frustration with you know, things maybe not going right or things not happening as fast as they you'd like or things aren't seemingly in the 3D panning out as you would like. But you see, if you think about that, you know, basically in both of those instances, he just needed to take a step back because actually it was the fact that he was trying to open the jam jar with a slippy hand and trying to change a tire which didn't need to be changed. So it was a very powerful message to say, hang on a minute, just take a step back and then you'll be shown the way. Because it's in those times when we actually are at peace and we let our intuition in, then that is the time that you can actually be much more peaceful on the journey. Because after the healing, after we did the heart chanting, I then saw them both as little children sat on a rocking chair with a teddy. And of course, that is so, you know, that feeling of being in a rocking chair is so soothing. And, you know, it's that feeling of being rocked and being looked after and feeling kind of very cared for. 
And so it went from being this frustrated, I'm trying to climb the mountain, it, you know, I'm trying to get over the mountain rather than to just flow around the mountain. And so that's been a really strong message because it is if you feel like you're fighting against the tide, the best thing you can do is just to just take a moment, just go sit in a rocking chair, sit in a tree, sit by a tree, go for a walk, do anything you can to stop flowing against the tide. Because um, I said that I've been staying, I'm helping my friend who has triplets. So triplets, the third energy, right? And the little boy every day has come down with a t-shirt with a number on it. And so that's how I've been getting my messages this week because always messages come through from, you know, all of our surroundings. But because the, the number, I do these books, these books are about raising your vibration and following what your intuition and your twin spirit wants you to do. So it was number 89, which is 89 is 17. So I come to the, um, the mantra books and it is our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. So our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. The other thing about this mantra, why this mantra came through today is to remember that you are one energy body. So the lady that came to me for that healing was in quite, I would say, she said that she really needed it, right? She was feeling that she really, really needed it. And no wonder, because what he showed was that he was literally, I could feel his frustration. And anyone, you just have to put yourself in that position. If you're just crazily thinking and trying to get a jam jar open and it's making you mad, but actually all you need to do, because you've got a slippy hand, <laughs> all you need to do is just take a moment and wipe your hand and calm down and try again and you'll open that jam jar. So it just is incredibly powerful, that symbology, to just realise what is going on at the moment. To just say, okay, actually, I just need to take a step back. Everything is going to be okay. So our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. And that is from the Love Mantra book. Now, <laughs> again, perfect, because from the Magic book, it is... Today I live the magic of my soul. So today I live the magic of my soul. So it is to say, take a step back, take a moment, and remember you are living the magic of your soul journey together. And that's why it is so important to follow all the signs, to really work with the messages that are coming through. So I'm going to read letter 89 from the books because, again, it totally explains what, um, you know, explains everything. So letter 89 from book one is this. I've loved you since the first day I saw you. Like a magnet, I was drawn to you. An inexplicable connection that I just couldn't stop. The pull towards you has been so great and has really had such a huge impact on me. I can't even begin to explain. It's been so hard and I know I've acted like an idiot and a jealous fool and I've put you in impossible situations and I've made life really difficult for you. I'm truly sorry. All I can say is that I act like a child around you. Something in me takes over and I just can't bear the fact that we're not together. And I'm not the one who, that gets to wake up with you every morning and sleeps beside you at night. Forgive me. I love you. Well, um, so that's book one. And so it's about saying, forgive me. I know I've been acting like a complete prat, but I'm sorry. So letter 89 is this. You are a beautiful flower, a rose blooming in my heart. The petals fluttering inside me, opening me up to be who I truly am. The awakening and blooming of my soul into my physical body. Boy, what a process it has been, and not an easy one. 
I am fat and tangled by thorns trying to keep me trapped in my fears, but I am finding the light. I am cutting away the ties to my old life that has kept me trapped in the dark. Believe that, that, that this is our time. This is our moment to let our light shine bright and be a part of this beautiful love journey. Right? So, I'm sorry, I'm cutting the ties to my old life. That's exactly how I felt in that healing today, that sense of frustration, you know, wanting to basically, you know, wanting to get out of stuff. Letter 89 from book, um, book one, I think, is this. There is nothing that I would not be do to be in your arms right now. There is nothing I would not give to be with you, to be living my life, our life together. I just wish I could fast track this next bit to when it's just us living our life together and blissfully happy, being able to tell each other how we really feel and not having to hide behind walls. I just want us to be free to be us. I want the whole world to dissolve around us so there's just me, you, and our wonderful love that we have and feel for one another. I just want to be free to live in our love. Wow. Oh, doesn't it make you just want to go, oh, let's all be free together. So, and this is why... I can see, because remember, these mantras are about lifting your joint energy body. So that's why the messages that come through, I'm like, I know that this is what my twin wants me to say, because this is going to help us energetically lift and shift the energies and set us free. So the message is, today I live the magic of my soul. Today I live the magic of my soul. Repeat, 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 repeat. And... Our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. So our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. So, and again, repeat, repeat, re repeat. So, I mean, just again, just quite amazing. And of course, when I come downstairs for breakfast, the, the jam jar I saw in the healing had a red and white top. So I come downstairs and what's on the table? The red and white top jam jar. <laughs> so it's about, you know, imagine. It's so it's such a great visualization to say, I'm frustrated because I'm trying to open this jam jar with slippy hands. Right? Nobody can open a jam jar with slippy hands. But to take a break, war, you know, wipe your hands and then open it, right? So again, really powerful. So that's why if you're feeling that kind of scratchy, frustrated energy, that's because it's a collective energy that's happening. And remember, we are all taking our piece of the apple pie or the piece of the pie um, to digest those energies. So the easiest way to digest the energy is not to fight against it. It's to flow with it, you know, just basically to relax, to let it flow and to realize if you are feeling that sense of anxiety or stress, then just breathe. Breathe, 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 read the mantra. Our bodies, our souls, our oneness is what we were created for. Okay, I hope that helps. Take care. If you want to come to me for a healing, for a reading, for a letter, I am doing them as I get through the list. I am staying with my, helping my friend with her triplets. So I'm doing them as and when I can. Um, so yeah. If you want, uh, then please do. All details are in the link. And as ever, please, if you want to get the books, they are the most amazing resource to keep you in that high vibration and to get messages from your twin. All details are in the link. Okay, take care. Bye.